Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol, and Beyonce it ain't so. Yeah, I know, Beyonce is getting called out by fans everywhere for being anti-LGBT. Let's take a look at this article. Beyonce being canceled because of controversial performance. Beyonce's recent performance in Dubai is stirring debate among the LGBTQ community because of the nation's laws. Now, here's what I've been saying for years. The, the, the left, the woke, the whole nine, they eat their own. Now, I think, out the gate, th th this is dumb. Homegirl is a performer. She went and did a show. Uh, and, and because it's in a country that's historically problematic when it comes to you know gay rights and whatnot, she's getting thrown under the bus. But it does raise the interesting question of should performers you know stick to their morals and stick to their guns if it means taking less money, or take the money and everything else be American lip service? Now, we all know what the obvious answer is, at least for the performance. Yeah, th th they're going to take money. But let's go through this article, see what it says, and we'll go from there. Backlash over Beyonce's performance in Dubai has reached a fever pitch. The singer performed a private show at the opening of the United Arabian Emirates' newest luxury hotel, Atlantis the Royal, on January 21st, 2023, for a small fee. About $24 million. Oh. Dude, I could be the most pro-gay individual in the world. I could be, it doesn't matter. I could be a hardcore leftist, go to every single rally, think that you're the absolute bigot if you don't even encourage your kids to have a gay relationship. Like, come on, little Timmy, you should try it at least once to know for sure. If someone offered me $24 million to do a little ditty at a hotel, uh-uh. I'm going full Mike Pence. Get your kids to them conversion camps. I need that 24 mil. Like, oh my god. The UAE is known for harsh laws against LGBTQ persons, and fans armed with articles like the one from Newsweek writer Shannon Power have flocked to social media to debate the ethical implications of Beyonce's choice to perform in the country. I hope I'm not the first one to tell you this, but please understand that your woke allies like Beyonce don't love you more than they love money. Beyonce accused of selling out over 24 million performance in anti-LGBTQ plus Dubai. And yeah, that, that, that's exactly what it boils down to. I mean, I've been saying it for years. When it comes down to, you know, money or, you know, getting woke, staying woke, look, everyone's going to choose the money every time. E even M&M's, we saw this recently, they didn't stick to their laurels. They, they decided, hey, we're going to introduce this new women's only candy, the feminims, the women's. Within days, they yanked that, like, nope, M&M's, now, you know, punish everybody. Now all M&M's mascots are gone because they saw, you know, man, this is hitting sales. So do I blame Beyonce for taking the money? No, not at all. I'm pretty pro-capitalist. Homegirl wants to get out there and take $24 million to sing for some fat cats at some, you know, fancy hotel. Dude, I respect the grind. She's been doing this for years. She's earned it. Go get it. However, I will absolutely say she's a hypocrite. You don't get to be out there and say Queen B, slay Queen B, and you be the girl that's always promoting, you know, pro LGBT, pro rights, sewing division, making it seem like, oh, there's just this large contingent of individuals out there who hate the gays. Like, basically making things seem so much worse than they are and proving how much of an ally you are. And then go to a country like Dubai where, you know, they, they, they stone gay people uh, and, you know, act like everything's cool. you you got to pick a side. I've been saying this for years. This is, this is a fight that I've been on way back in the Facebook days. The Facebook arguments were all the rage. And I would tell people, look, you're either pro-LGBT or you're, you're pro-Islam. There's not really much of an in-between, at least Islam, you know, as far as their countries are concerned. Because you can't complain about Islamophobia and complain about homophobia. You can't, they're kind of intertwined. You know, I, myself, full support of the LGBT movement, full support of gays, you know, the whole nine. Um, and because of that, yeah, hey, if I've got any gay viewers listening, stay away from Saudi Arabia, stay away from Dubai, stay away from Iran, Iraq, whatnot, because you're not welcome there. Uh, it's just an unfortunate reality. Um, uh, am I saying that? Islam's indiv each individual Muslim person is bad? No, not at all. It's the largest uh, religion in the world, or second largest, in Christianity, go back and forth. Point is, I'm sure there's a, at an individual basis, there are so many, probably the majority of good individuals in that religion. But the religious doctrine itself is inherently bad. You know, it, it's, it's not Islamophobic to say Islam is a bad religion for gays. We should probably rein this in and keep some stuff under control. Like, y you don't want, we don't want our homegrown American, you know, cheeseburger eating gays getting bashed in the head with rocks when they go on vacation just because they like to suck dick. It's not cool. Conversely, it probably isn't cool for Beyonce to be all pro-gay and then go over to this country and, you know, do, do her songs, get paid $24 million. If she's going to do that, that's fine. But maybe don't claim about you know, how you're such an ally. You're sending some mixed messages. I can get why your fans are outraged, Queen Bee.
Beyonce released her latest album, Renaissance, in the summer of 2022. The album was heralded as a tribute to the black LGBTQ culture, and Beyonce has long been regarded as a high-profile ally of the LGBTQ community. Her latest turn in Dubai has many questioning her allegiance, with many viewing the artist as having sold out her beliefs. And that's, that's exactly what she did. She sold out her beliefs. But the blame isn't just on her. The blame is also on the LGBTQ community, because she's one gal. I don't care if she's got $24 million off this performance. She's not changing an entire culture, an entire religion. So you guys acting like, oh, she's all of a sudden anti-LGBT. She hates the gays. Beyonce hates the gays. Like, that's, that's not really the case either. She's not going to change Dubai. She's not going to change culture. She's not going to change Islam. So why not take the money where it can come from, right? Like, why, why is everyone so intent on saying, oh... Beyonce, she's the, the worst individual in the world now that she hates gays because she performs for Muslims. All right, so yeah, now, now, you're, now you're being anti-Muslim. You're claiming Beyonce. Like, the, the problem here, the fault lies on both sides, if you were to ask me, because really everyone should just shut the hell up and let individuals do what they want to do. If, if Beyonce wants to make 24 mil and go you know play in a country that's anti-gay, I mean, yeah, she's got the right to do that. Maybe she shouldn't be so outspoken about being pro-gay. She's got some ethics she needs to stick to, otherwise it's lip service. Conversely, the gay community, you guys can also shut up. She's out there doing what she do to make money. This is her job. This is her business. This is her life. Look, not everything needs to be about you. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, you throwing a fit about Beyonce playing in this country isn't going to change this country. It's, 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 you, don't, you don't change religion overnight. Like, it just doesn't happen. Beyonce's Dubai performance just isn't an affront to the LGBTQ plus fans, but workers' rights in the UAE. Oh, let's, 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 okay. This is taking a strange turn. As the walls of cancel culture close in on the celebrity, many have jumped to identify the nuances of the situation. Several have called the response to Beyonce's Dubai performance hypocritical, even personal. The tweet notes a growing list of celebrities to perform in Dubai, such as LGBTQ icons Elton John and Lady Gaga, who did so unscathed by public and UAE government. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm a big Elton John fan. In fact, I'm a Lady Gaga fan. Not her music. In fact, I think her music is trash. But as a person, she's awesome. She's a really good actress. Her voice is incredible. I just don't dig the music itself. Elton John, he's, he's one of the greatest of all time. Love me some Elton John. I'll, I'll get down Goodbye Yellow Brick Road or Tiny Dancer any day of the week. So yeah, if they were able to perform in the UAE with no issues, then, then why is Beyonce getting called out? It's because you're all racist! No, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just joking. Point is, yeah, why is she getting called out, though? If, if other LGBT people have gotten to play, then, yeah, what's the big deal? I mean, she's, yeah, she's an ally, but she's still straight. Elton John's about as ally-ish as you can get, considering, you know, he's part of your community, and he got he got to play there. So it is a very, it's an interesting juxtaposition. Others have pointed out the double standard fans apply to Beyonce. TV personality T.S. Madison called out the selective outrage fans engaged in seemingly at random, highlighting the fact that many fans in the U.S. continue to line up for Beyonce's shows in states with anti-LGBT legislation in place. Ooh, got him! So y'all gonna be mad at Beyonce when she perform on her tour in those U.S. states that have anti-LGBT laws in place? Or are you gone still get your tickets? God, I, I hate modern language. That, that, should, that should have been our New Year's resolution. Fix stupid Twitter language. Are you going to get your tickets? I'll fix it for you, Madison. Going to get your tickets. The selective outrage is working my cozy nerves. God, I don't even know what that means. English. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? The sentiment has been echoed around the internet along with identification of misplaced activism. One user on Twitter noted the large percentage of white people crusading against Beyonce who will be lined up at her shows in the U.S. states that do not embrace LGBTQ residents, emphasizing the importance of that fact. I love it says you know large number of white people lined up at her concerts. I know I, I made that uh, racist joke earlier. I wonder if I wonder if this is that's where this is going. Mark my words, this very LGBTQ plus people upset that Beyonce performed in Dubai, and it's important to note that most I've seen are white, will be the very ones attending concerts in states that have in introduced anti-LGBTQ and or anti-CRT legislation. Okay, well, anti-CRT le legislation is, is important. Like, that's an actual issue. I, I don't think there should be anti-LGBTQ legislation. Again, depending, that, that's a very nuanced topic, but we should, should all agree anti-CRT legislation is, is good. Anyway, and yes, that matters. Preston Mitchum, you sound like a moron, I'm going to be honest.
Criticism coming from the West was indicated in far greater and graver detail in Shannon Power's Newsweek article, which pointed to the danger and damage that certain comments from people in the U.S. can have done to the LGBTQ population in the UAE. Interviews with LGBTQ residents from the UAE revealed that their community there did not see any reason for controversy, again citing the large number of LGBTQ performers to come through the UAE in the past. Others express frustration with how the West views the conditions of LGBTQ people facing the UAE. One interviewee said the Beyonce controversy coming out of the West as a re reinforcement of a stereotype about super harsh UAE culture. And you know what? I'm guilty of that. I literally opened up the video with that belief. I still have that belief. There, there's not a whole lot that uh, you know some sort of mainstream media article is going to do to tell me, no, everything's fine with the gays in, in the Middle East. Don't even worry about it. Like, I don't know. Let's... let's I'm going to need to see a little bit more than giant freaking robot telling me that that's the case. But, you know, maybe things are lightening up over there. I doubt it, but we'll see. Power noted that per the UAE penal code, same-sex male sex is punishable by up to 10 years in prison, but the LGBTQ residents said conditions are not as scary as many from outside make them out to be. For everyone pro clutching about Beyonce's Dubai show, how about actually listening to opinions of queer people from the UAE? LGBTQ fans in Dubai speak out over concert backlash. I mean, hey... She's, she's got a point. Again, I don't know how many of those people are, are paid shills, or maybe it's some girl-on-girl -girl stuff, which the UAE is cool with, but, you know, railing another dude from the back, that's what's going to get you in trouble. Well, now we just got a double standard. You know, men's rights really needs to focus on the Middle East. <laughs> An interviewee identified as Malika thanked the West for their support, but asked people not to speak on the UAE LGBTQ community's behalf. We are treading carefully by claiming our right to exist without risking the safety of us and our community. Please don't speak or act on our behalf. Power posted this tweet sharing the article and urging people not to speak out without being educated on the subject. Beyonce has endured plenty of controversies, some of which caused the singer to retroactively change the lyrics to songs on her last album. She remains one of the most popular artists in the world, and she has navigated touchy situations before. Time will tell how she responds to the controversy in Dubai, and whether or not her public image will recover in the wake of perceived betrayal of a community she has no, she is so vocally supported. Well, that's the end of that, and I, I find this to be hilarious, because it is a case of they eat their own. Like, like I said... I think that she should be able to go and perform and, and make her money and whatnot. I think the gays should, should shut up about it. But also, I think she should stick to her morals. And they do want to be outraged. They have the right to be outraged. It's a weird conglomeration of emotions. And it just boils down to people are too invested in this sort of stuff nowadays. I mean, we've got me, someone who doesn't like Beyonce... And who, while I have no issues with the gay or the gay community, I mean, you don't see me flying a rainbow flag behind me because it, it's just not my thing. You know, I'm getting in on this because... As an outlooker, as an outsider looking in, it, it, it's it's funny. Like this seems like it, it seems like a cartoon to me. It seems like it'd be the basis for an episode of Family Guy, but it's it's real life. And maybe that's for the best. Maybe all this insanity will lead to something positive in the end. Who's to say? But. I want your opinions on it. Let me know in the comments below, or you can let me know on Twitter where you can follow me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe to the channel. Check out the back catalog. I got plenty of videos covering topics like this, usually more nerdy news, such as Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, Star Wars, anime, you name it. You can find it in the back catalog. It's been covered here in the Nerdosphere. But until next time, this has been Words of Paradise.